crack. There you go. Cheers. You should just get a van. With a van, it's like you got an MBA. But you've also got a fucking van. Yeah? You're not just a man anymore. You are a man with a van. You get a van, Jez. We could be men with Ven. Listen, a bunch of stuff got left on board. Thought you could feast on this lot. What is it? Sex stuff, booze, drug gear? Baby shit. What? Why did you bring that in here? Well, you two are on some baby tip, aren't you? One of you is the father of Sophie's Jerry Springer baby. We're not doing baby. There'll be plenty of time for the baby later. The baby's too big. You, you can't look at it, Hans. It's like the sun. Yeah, that's the policy. What's in there, anyway? Baby shit. It's so small. <laughs> no, no. No, thank you. But put it under the bed, Jeremy. OK, yeah. It's going under there. Right. It's under there now. It'll be safe under there. Hey, Jez. What's up, man? Super hands. Find a Guinness, please. No logo on the phone. No logo on the phone. Hey, don't buy into all that one, do you? What the old... Ooh. Ooh, I've got a clover in me phone. I'm so important. No. What you're doing there is you're, you're drinking an advert, aren't you? Hey. Shit, Ed. Thank you. Right. So, you got our track? Uh, no. I've been thinking. I'm not sure. I think maybe it's shit. Whoa! Hold it, cowboy. Rewind. What shit? The track's shit. Jez, the track's the shit. It's just I found Mark laughing at it. Oh, well, so Mr. fucking Ocean Colour Pants don't get it. Well, kill fucking surprise. Plus, he was doing it in front of Tony. Mate. You gotta get some Rewenge. He broke a meta. You think? Listen, the whole industry is run by suits like your mates. Do you think that's why we haven't got a deal yet? Of course it is. They're all a bunch of marks, aren't they? Sitting behind their big marble desks, tires done up to 11, clicking their fingers to the fucking lighthouse family, getting their dick sucked by a big Alsatian dog. Yeah? They're all perverts, mate. All in with each other. It's not who you know, it's who you blow. Oi, oi. It's Snoopy and the Red Baron. Come in, you pair of fucking carb loaders. Now, the, uh, the base juices are all paid for, lads, so just choose your fucking additions and let's detox till we've got mega cocks. Oh, my God, he's cleaned up for the wedding. Iggy's gone to rehab. Sober hands. This stag is one load of PG-rated, Disney-assed, witch magazine-approved, child-proof, high-vitamin fucking bullshit. Cheers. Do you think at some point soon it's going to start to degenerate? In antioxidants. Oh, here we go, lads. More juice. Delicious hands. I'm just not sure how much more juice I can manage, to be honest. Yeah, after you've had three or four really big juices. Yeah, whatever. So listen, I thought we'd hang here for a bit, then a little stroll down Oxford Street, taking the funny T-shirts, hit one of my fave prets, more juice, bit of a relax, then the Sarvo, shopping, relax, juice, and then to swords. They got a new waxwork of Zoella and some other wicked YouTubers. Sound tasty? When do you think it'll degenerate? I would think it'll degenerate soon. Oh, pissing pure innocent smoothie. There's no way we can talk more about juice. See, the thing about juice from most places is you get all the fibre and most of the vitamins, but if it's been pasteurised, a fuck lot of the micronutrient content's been neutralised. Oh, no. No, I don't think so, love. We're not, um... Do you want to use jokers all of this? Sorry, fam. Wrong table. Um, unless, um... One little sip -a -roo. No, mate! No! No! What, just to wet the whistle? I exactly. J just to wet the whistle. Uh, just to wet the whistle. That's right. Get that big old whistle really nice and wet. Mm -hmm. That is quite refreshing. Oh! I just want to fucking suck, fucking suck. Fucking suck, everyone. I just want to fucking suck, oh, the whole night through. Oh, I love cocaine. Oh, I love cocaine. Like, I'm really passionate about my art, but I'm stuck working here, and it's like, like when's it going to happen for me, you know? Probably never. Right. What are your actual chances of making a living as an artist? I don't know, like, not very high? Exactly. Not very high. Jez, I want to go full horrible. Take me to the nasty. All in good time, Hans. Look, I'm a life coach, so when I say sometimes you have to kill a dream to follow a dream, that's advice backed by a professional standards body. Mmm, I've said body. She'll be thinking about my body. Excuse me, mate. Fuck off. I heard the strokes before you. <laughs> it did degenerate. I knew it would. I want Molly. 
I love Molly. He's not here, Hans. All right, you're home now. Let's get you on the futon. Sleep it off. Oh, I fucking hate the futon. Everyone does. But they're indestructible, so we're stuck with them. What am I going to tell Gog? What happened to all the time? Where did all the time go? We had loads of time. What we really need to do is create a powerful sense of dread. See, the longer the note, the more dread. God, that's terrible. It's worse than Daryl's bloody core on Glay. Oh, they're useless. I wish they were all robots. I wish I was a robot. Maybe I could punch through a wall. Yeah, okay, right, ready? One, two, three, let's go! Watch out, they're gonna get you. They're gonna get you, baby. They're coming after you. Watch your back, they're gonna get you. They're coming after you. Look, no, all right? That's not shit, but just no. Hans, you realise we've only got 39 minutes left? All oh, right, so now we're working. It's not okay for me to smoke my crack. Yes, exactly. Exactly. What, so next you're going to boot me out for not wearing a jacket and tie? Jess, is there anything I can... It's under control, Mark, OK? Everything's under control. Will you please get back behind the glass? But uh, as your manager, I just... I just get back behind the glass. There is a very clear, if invisible, line. Here be beauty, there be pie charts. OK? Uh, look, I've been here since eight. I'm just going to go and grab a coffee, all right? Yeah, well, if you're leaving now, I don't even fucking dream of coming back. Oh, God! Why didn't you tell me about the wanking off bit? Sorry, I didn't think. Yeah, well, you should have bloody fought. Jesus! Did you do it? Of course I did. How do you think I got these trainers? What's going on? Who's wanking who off? Jeremy's been wanking off this bloke for cash. No, I haven't! It's not... Jeremy, that is so you. I always knew you'd end up doing something like that. What do you mean, that is so me? That is not so me! Oh, my God, I thought Hans was actually going to garrote him. I know. And then I thought no-one was going to challenge that guy on his xenophobic rant, but I just had to say it. I couldn't let it go. I think it's good how you said it. I mean, I would have said it eventually. Maybe a bit closer to our destination. How much further is it? Fuck no, it's like three miles. Man, Molly's going to shit a house brick. Right. I'm running. No shoes? No, man. Mother Nature's trainer. The human foot. Right, laters. Oh, and uh, watch out for wolves. There are no wolves in East Anglia, Hans. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, Mark, huh? Oh, you fucker! Happy Christmas, motherfucker. Hans! Have a guess what Santa's got in his sack. Answer. A wicked big bag of sinister minister. Uh. Happy Christmas. Hands. Merry no Christmas, Mark. Jeremy. I'm not going to. Well, don't. Super Hands. Merry Christmas, classic father. Don't mind if I do. Mind out, boys. Father Spliffmas coming through. Great. Methadone in the mulled wine. What? It's your fault. It's not my fault. I was holding the line. Yes, but you know him. You shouldn't know him. Well, I'm sorry, but I do know him. Oh, merry migraine and a happy new stomach ulcer. Oi, Mrs C. Answer me this. Have you ever had a parrot? Uh, no. Just you look like you might enjoy a cock or two. <laughs> That's very cheeky, Hans. This is the spirit of Christmas. Super Hans bonking mum doggy style in the airing cupboard. What are you going there? It's a bit of crack. Crack? Crack, Super Hans? Relax. It's not blue, Peter. Just a nice little relaxing smoke of crack. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, my fucking life. It isn't... It bloody is. Gog! Gog? Gog! At school, if you're gonna sneeze, you'd run up and do it in his face. Gog! Jeremy, what are you doing here? Wouldn't you like to know, you big prick? So what are you doing? Just running the business. You know, hiring, firing and perspiring. Business? <laughs> Look at you with your glass of wine and your jacket, just like a real person. Remember when we made you wank off Perchie's dog for a fiver? What are you doing, really? Like I said, business. Going public in April. Usernames. And I'm overseeing the edit on my first short. Honda are very interested. What, so you're actually successful? Looks like it. Yeah, 
Just come back from three hours trying to find some music for our soundtrack that doesn't completely suck ass. But, Gog, I'm music. I make music. Right, well, maybe we should meet up and have a chat sometime. Of course we should meet up sometime and have a chat. Look, here's Superhands. We can do the music, can't we, Superhands? Tell you what, that crack is really Moorish. So, Hands, old issue, I know, but the band name. I mean, I know it's a statement, obviously, but what does a statement mean? There you go, three munchies. Did you just nick this? Of course I did. You should be paying me to eat this shit. Wow, free choco. Mmm, tasty. The secret ingredient is crime. So, listen, Jez, about the band. You know Pete Preston's outfit, the executioner's bong? Yeah, a bunch of wankers. Exactly. Well, they've kind of asked me if I'd front them for a couple of gigs. What? Yeah, so obviously I'm gonna have to quit coming up for Blair. You can't be in two bands at once. Tom Petty tried that with the Heartbreakers and the Wilburys. Nearly killed the fucking guy. But what about me? None of this makes any sense, Superhands. Besides, you still owe me for the big computery thing we don't know how to work. All right, look, maybe I can get you in on Maracas. I won't be Bez. I want to be in there on merit. I don't think you'll make it in on merit. Just get me in. Then we'll see about merit. Uh, hello? What the...? All right, Mark. Give us ten, would you? No! No, I bloody won't! What? Jeremy! How did you allow this? What? I didn't know. Didn't know what? Nothing. What? I don't know. Is there a problem? You let Superhands use my bed for... filth. Oh, no. They didn't go in there, did they? Oh, that really is too much. Oh, I'm annoyed now. I'm so annoyed with them. That is too much. Well, where in our massive duplex did you think they'd be? In one of the guest suites or the billiard room? I can't get out. Let me out. It's all right, Hans. It's just the handle. It's, it's funny. You need to lift it. This is bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, lads. Locked doors. Little switch just flicks, you know. Ever since Dad locked me in the airing cupboard to monitor the home brew. Oi, oi. How's the ethnic cleansing going? Hands. I thought it might be a good idea to have some backup. I owe Jez. You took a bullet for me. You, you're pure chrome dildo. Solid. OK. Everything's out. What now? We could tie him to a hot air balloon and he would drift away out of the window. Um, you like that? The hot air balloon? Or punch him? Hands? You look at me for? You punch him. Maybe you could sit on him, intimidate him, yeah? <laughs> Fart in his face. Psychological warfare. Yeah, grind him down. Attack his beliefs. Yeah, that. Plus we fart. What is this, farty Guantanamo? No, I... I, th I think we have to wake him up. Just tell him to leave, like men. Or he is sort of bagged for our convenience. Hmm. What? We could just bag him up and sling him out. I'm definitely going to agree to this. I just need to put up an acceptable level of objection so I can be all reproachful if it proves to be a disaster, which it almost certainly will. No. No way. No. Well... OK, but on your heads be it. Bag him, hands. Ah! Ah! Hey! Hey! I got him. Hey, hey, hey! He's bagged. You fucking... What's going on? Sorry, pal. You are surplus to requirements. Put him out. I I'm sorry, Jerry. <laughs> Ow! Ah! Hey, Jess, hey. I thought you were going to grab the other end. That's the normal way. The normal way? None of this is normal. I've got a verbal contract. He doesn't. You don't, Jerry. Yes, I do. Small claims court. I I'm not part of this, Jerry. Put him in the lift, hands. The lift? <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> you got a wheelbarrow. Why are you doing this, Mark? I want to read my Napoleon correspondence. Ow. And watch oh. Storage Hunters. Does that make me a bad person? Don't put me in the lift. Oh, stop wriggling. So I give him a kick. Don't, don't kick him. Do not kick me. Jerry, stay I'm still. This will all be over soon. I'm being kidnapped. All good here. It's just a prank. It's high jinx. We're the Croydon Bullingdon. It's not a prank. <laughs> Shush, Jerry. I'm calling the police. Shut it, or you're getting waterboarded. Do not bloody waterboard me. I warned you. Waterboard. <laughs> This is horrible. You two, seriously. You need to take a look at yourselves. He's right. Offensive behaviour. In he goes. This is against the Geneva Convention. I'm contacting the Citizens Advice Bureau. I'm back, baby. The bitch is back. 
Oh. Have you ever gone shrooming before? No, never. My friend Otto had a very bad trip the first time he did it. He ended up putting his forehead on a train track, thinking it was a big steel sweatband. Don't worry, honestly. Tripping changed my life. Before I did shrooms, I was stuck at HSBC's doing the nine to five. Yeah, and now you've got your room at the centre and you're making your masks. Jez, I need to use the loo. Oh yeah, sorry about that. What I was thinking was, I'll just wedge the door in and hold it while you... Yeah, I won't be listening or anything. I mean, I'll hear, but I won't listen. Okay, honey, you go ahead and do your lovely business and I'll uh, jam this sucker in place. <laughs> I bet she even does nice poos. Little Maltesers that smell like the body shop. Just go and check on the victim. Not victim, patient. Patient's nicer. He's fine. Mustn't think I've killed him. Definite bad trip. I almost certainly haven't killed him. Might be best if I just... No need to think about what I'm doing too much. Out of sight, out of mind. Brilliant. Oh, I feel terrible. I feel like someone's trying to deliver the whole of the Sunday Times into my head. <sighs> Sophie can't even be bothered to send me templates anymore. Just go to the loo and then... What? He's... Has he? Locked me in? This is incredible. This is literally unbelievable. I'm locked out of a party that's happening in my own home. It's Sarah's 18th all over again. A mushroom party in my flat is not in the bloody tenant's agreement. Of course, I never made him sign a tenant's agreement. Bollocks. This is the last friendship I have that's not backed up by a legally enforceable document. Jeremy! Jeremy! What's that? Is that banging? Nope. But I can hear banging. You can't hear banging. Don't worry, Suze. There's no banging. But I'm definitely getting banging. Things. I don't think I'm having a good time. I mean, I can't be sure, but I really don't think I am. It does sound kind of a lot like banging. It's this banging track. That's what's banging. I think I might get off. Oh, oh no. Suze, have another dose. That'll sort you out, maybe. No, Suze, don't, don't do that. Just, um, listen, love, just a little tip, all right? You're on the edge now, and you need to pick the right way. Because one way's heaven, and the other... Well, probably best not to think about that right now, but it's fucking horrible, yeah? Drink, 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 Two litres of supermarket drink, drink, cola. Drink, I'd like to see Sting drink, do this. Drink, 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 drink! <sighs> that is one serious caffeine injection, my friend. Yeah, man. It's not such a drag the fest being strictly drink and drugs free after all, is it? What up? We can still get monk. Just have to use our imagination. What are you, hands? Are you <laughs> head rush? Safe. I can you give my mate CD to your record company. Mmm, sexy Christian disciples. Groupies. What are you gonna do? She's not really a groupie. She spoke to the group. She's a groupie. Hey, hold on, girls. We we're gonna make a spliff out of not Megan banana peel. Plus, this shit under my fingernails has probably got loads of gear in it. And you're it's... off it all. Crack as well. But you love crack, it's your favourite. Especially crack, Jez. Uh, stop putting all that poison and shit into my body and my precious brain. Since when? Since Tuesday. Had a sort of road to Damascus flash on the A22. Crashed the van into some guy's hedge because I was so fucking wrecked. And then this voice in my head sounded like Brian Moore, who used to do the football on ITV. Said, pack it in, son. Hugs game. Well, that's very sensible, albeit hallucinatory advice. Uh, Mark, I am. Um, so in here is my pipe and my last rock. I want you to have it. I don't want it. It's illegal. I want you to keep it, please. It's symbolic. And if I come to you and ask for it, I want you to tell me no. Okay? Okay. Even if I hit you hard with wood or grab your arm and bend it up behind your back till it snaps like a fucking Kit Kat, you still tell me no, right? With wood. Thanks, Mark. Legend. So, how's all this going? Easy, man. Easy like a Sontag Morgan. I'm just finding other things to fill my time. Like what? Cycling, running. Yeah. I ran 10K yesterday. I ran here this morning, then back home, and then back here again. I'm cooking. 
knitted, knitted like a fucking electric nan, did this scarf. I got two quilts on the go and a sort of tabard. It's cool, it's easy. Great. You got the olives? I've gone fucking mental for olives. No, we've shit. Jesus, where am I gonna get olives? I'm, I'm craving this salt. We've got salt. I'm not gonna go necking fucking salt straight from the shaker mark. I'm not mad. Right, fucking laters. I'm going to sprint to Londis. He is a bit mad, isn't he? And then possibly have a wank when we're Skyping. Hands. Yes, you need to come and get me. What's up? I've accidentally run to Windsor. What? Yeah, I've mistakenly run to Windsor. But that's like in Scotland or something, isn't it? I didn't mean to. It's uh, just the endorphins kicked in and uh, I couldn't stop. OK, well, find some polythene or something to pull over yourself and, and a bit of waste ground and I'm sure you'll feel fine in the morning. My legs are gone, man. They're... I'm a jelly. I'm paralysed. It feels fucking brilliant. Crack. There you go. Cheers. Good afternoon. My name's Katie Mitchell. First mistake, no bouncers at the wedding. I'm in. Plus, the great thing is I've escaped the strong, comforting arms of the sexy, affectionate man. ...to conduct the ceremony for them today. So it's my great pleasure... Gregory Shaw loves his phone. Looking at his phone, and she loves it. I could look at my phone. We all want to look at our phones. They will now recite the vows they have written together. I will not fail nor falter. I shall succeed. My perception is altered, I do believe. Faith is so strong now, nothing shall bar my way from conviction, no fiction. This is my day. I can move, move, move any mountain. I can move, move, move any mountain. I can move, 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 move any mountain. Simon? Simon? I Super Simon? Simon Hans? And into my heart, you are the best of men. The truest, kindest, most generous of men. I think he might be the opposite of all those words. I'm getting married. And I would punch in the throat anyone who tried to stop me. That is how I feel today, Molly. So suffused with love, I put a glass in the face of anyone who tried to stop us joining our souls together. I'd hospitalise them. Here, here, the, the bride and groom. Come on, open up for fuck's sake, it's gig time. What's going on? Barney's only locked himself in the bloody bog. What have you done to him? Nothing. Jesus. He's a fucker! Has he been sucking you off? No, of course not. Yes. Or maybe once. What the fuck are we gonna do? We don't know how to play his mu our music. We're the front men. I was planning on just waving a maraca and giving the hotties my sex eyes. Why the hell did you get him to suck you off? Well, I don't know, do I? I was just bored. It's rock and roll. We're backstage. Someone's got to suck someone off. Iggy, Bowie, Lou Reed, Tupac, they're all sucking each other off. You're on! Shit, we're on? What, what are we going to do? Barney? Barney, come on out, mate, please. You go out and keep the crowd happy. I'll sort Barney out. All right, all right. But just don't... Don't suck him off, all right? And don't make him suck you off. Just get him out there without any more sucking off. There ain't no party like a super hands party. Only if Dobby's here. Let the Punani hunt commence. The hunt for Punani? Thought you were moving in with Zara. Exactly, I've made a firm commitment. We're practically getting married, so this is basically my stag do. Free pass. If Dobby's here, I need to make it up with a gesture. Something extraordinary. I could... Offer to marry her. Oh, always the marrying with you, isn't it? Super hands! Cheers, man. Wow, it is rocking out! You okay, dude? Yeah, yeah, it's just in there. Fuck, man. Tasty. A lot of people want to do that shit. Why even go there? You told me it was going to be a chilled one, Jeremy. You assured me that he'd made a huge lemon meringue pie. I don't know what to think. I've seen through the eye of the needle. I've seen it. I've finally bloody seen it. I've pulled open the hurt locker and had a big old rummage round. Let's go in. 
Didn't you hear what he just said? It sounds fun. No, it doesn't. It sounds terrifying. Whatever. Let's get in there. It's the heart of darkness, Jez. It's the fucking dirt. I don't want to go into the heart of darkness. Oh, come on, dude. Sometimes you've got to flip the switch. Lift the rock and look what's underneath, because it's not always wood lice. Look, if that party is too much for Hans, the, excuse me, Hans, the crack-addled maniac, I'm pretty confident it'll be too much for me. <sighs> Hans, is, is Dobby in there, do you know? She swung by, but she couldn't hack the hate. I think she pissed off the big Susers. Bloody hell. I'm gonna write this place off. Send someone in there tomorrow with some disinfectant and a flamethrower. I got my sleeping bag. I don't wanna know. <laughs> How was it? Fine, let's go. What? Look, I don't want to talk about it, all right? I just want a, a cup of tea and some soda bread and sit down somewhere quiet. Well, what's going on in there? Are they doing it? Yes, Mark. That's right. They're doing it. You really have no imagination whatsoever, do you? Well, what are they doing then? Dude, don't worry about them, because they sure as hell aren't worrying about you. Let's just go. Hands? <sighs> yep. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Big Susie's? I don't mind where, as long as it's safe. I just want to be in a controlled environment. Have a Coke and a tuna sandwich, just mong out to some snow patrol. Great. Super hands in the sidecar. Who's the chick? That's no chick, man. That's the love of my life. Wow. And what does she... I don't know much about her. She don't speak English. We speak the language of love. And a tiny little bit of German. Right. I'll tell you, man. She is the one. I'll take a bullet for her. I'll take a bullet up the Aris for a... Oh, that's nice. I'll take a fucking truncheon up the Aris for this one. Or an umbrella. I would open an umbrella up inside my Aris for this one. Hands, we, we get the message. There's probably no need to list all the things you put up your bottom for your girlfriend. I need a bit of headspace. Molly. She's a beast, mate. Marmite in the Marge. She's a slob. My peppermint shower gel just laying on his fucking side, oozing. What's that all about? I can't live like that. He's never smelt of peppermint. You all right? Yeah, fine. Knackered. Three-day bender. And then Mark got fired because of me and I couldn't sleep. Because of the guilt. Yeah. And now he's not speaking to me. She piles her dirty socks in the basket, even though it's already overflowing. And I'm like, what, do you think he's going to eat? I'm like the fucking cookie monster, love. Shush, Hans. I'm trying to think about myself. Hang on. Mark, did you piss in my piss? Because this piss looks funny. Don't mind drinking my piss, but your piss, that's over the line. I understand. Well, th thanks for calling. G goodbye, April. Um, hour... You're right, mate. Super hands, will you please inform your friend, Specimen A, that I'm not talking to him? No, oh, mate, not now. It's Molly. I'm in fucking bits. Well, likewise, April's gone back to her husband for good. It's over. Everything's over. I'm sorry, Mark. I'm sorry your life is ruined and it's partly my fault. I is there a buzzing? An irritating, backstabbing sort of buzzing? Oh, God, don't be such a wanker. He wanted his loan written off and, well, he succeeded. Yes! Sorry. But he's lost a friend in the process. Molly's end is on Corey. Corey till I die. It's a sign, isn't it? You've got to choose. You can't be city and united, can you? Look, Hans, can you shut up? Yeah. Because as we speak, the love of my life is buying cruise tickets with her husband on the high street with the intention of sailing away forever. And I'd very much like to sit here and watch a property-based reality show while she does it. Look, mate, but I can't just let you sit there feeling sorry for yourself. Let's bloody well go and stop her. I wanted to stop her. The last person I'd ask for help is the most thoughtless, selfish, venal idiot I've ever met in my life. He's talking to me. I win. Mark, I'm going to help you save the day with April. I'm going to be your love butler. Come on, let's at least go and spy in case there's something to be done, yeah? Hmm, I suppose it might be better than having a cry in a cornetto. I haven't forgiven you, by the way. I know. You don't have to tell me after every sentence. I just wanted to be clear. It is clear. Good. You just need to be ready, Mark. Ready to get April on her own and tell her how you feel. Aye. Right. Love's hard, mate. Fucking hard. Doesn't work. Breaks. But you've got to give it a go, eh? Norwich are never going to win the league, but they still turn up every week, don't they? The pricks. If you want, I could try and get in there, waggle the old cock about a bit. As in? I don't know, maybe try and make Angus fall in love with me. Fuck him, if mm. need be. Why does every solution you come up with involve fucking someone? It's just an idea. Do you think they sit around in the cabinet talking about sending Philip Hammond over to fuck Holland to sort out the Euro? Oi, Dudley and Cream. They're on the move. Body language doesn't look great. Does look a, a little testy. Yes. 
He's off. Closing time in the last chance saloon, Mark. Time to grab your nuts and splurge. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, fuck! I'm gonna do something. Be the canary. Full fucking Delia. I don't know what you mean. You go, girl! It still doesn't mean I've forgiven you. I'll shoot the breeze with super hands. Chatting shit with your mates is still free. You can't tax that brown. You all right? Jez, uh, can you tell me, yeah, as a mate, as someone that knows me really well, is the bottom half of me on fire? No. Thanks. That's good. Are you tripping? Shit, I'm seeing. I fucking well hope so. <laughs> you couldn't get me any glue, could you? Take the edge off. Glue? Yeah. Glue's coming back. Nature's glue. I've never done glue. Never boffed a tranny. I've hardly lived. The good news is that in my last personality chart, I was 30% up, which was pretty wicked. Your wellness levels must be through the fucking roof. You're right on schedule. According to the book, hardback book, based on tablets brought by an asteroid, something you can rely on. Yeah. What do you think about the asteroids stuff? Are you having a few doubts? No, God, no. More sort of thoughts. Thoughts? You want to give that shit a rest? You've been going around thinking thoughts your whole life, and look what that's got you, eh? True enough. Listen, I was talking to Pasco, and it's good news, because a couple of rooms have come up at the centre. But the cool thing is, if you live in, you can pay for classes by working at the centre, making new recruits. <laughs> it's a good system, isn't it? That is a good system. So, you up for it? Move into the compound. Mark will say I'm joining a cult, but then he won't have a nectar card because he thinks it means they've got him. I'm moving on. Dude, crank up the organometer and bring on module two. Right, well, it's over with Molly. Apparently I'm not even allowed to do a little fucking novelty kidnap. So, uh, bollocks to it. I'm going to van it to Macedonia, finally set up the moped rental. Yeah? Yeah. Laters. See ya.